What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys some FUD Champions highlights from my last weekend league. We hit 25 and five. Uh, weird story, we actually went 11 and four on the new generation console. Uh, and then we went back over to the PS4 version and we went 14 and one. So I don't think this full video has all of the games, but it has at least 17 or 18 of them at least. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys how Puskas was, how Buchagueno was. I used Kaka for the first like eight to ten games. I'll explain how those guys were, how they felt, and stuff like that. I also want to do a little bit of a Q and A around it as well because I didn't want to just have my audio from the stream. I wanted to, you know, kind of give you guys some background uh, on the team itself and do some questions and stuff like that so before we get into the video today if you guys can drop a like on the video let's hit 50 likes that would be awesome subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here turn the notification bell on as well all the links to my socials will be in the description this is my first kind of video where it's gameplay oriented so we will see how it does depending on the video how this does uh if i do this more so ne next weekend i'm looking at doing uh kdb team of the group stage and i also want to buy essien and george best baby cards that is the plan with the same team that we used this past weekend and yeah before we get into the questions let's talk about how the team played carrasco insane uh one of the best players that i've used so far and i'm very lucky that i got him red uh another player that was super good was puskas man this guy finishes everything same with butcher gueno uh, i didn't like the feel of butcher gueno i liked the feel of puskas though he was like small he was agile he was able to quit like just do like these little quick turns i really enjoyed using uh puskas in particular and butcher gueno i think you know kind of looking back at the highlights this guy was finishing everything uh his shooting is just absolutely insane it kind of lives up to his shooting on the card uh and you know what honestly i recommend both of them because if you need an all-and-out striker uh Buchugano can give you those goals uh puskas for me man he just feels really good on the ball he did have a three-star wifa but i didn't really notice that in my gameplay at all uh and you know the back four obviously was really good i had lam who started the weekend out kind of slow but then as the weekend league got on he kind of clutched up he got better as the weekend league got on and I feel like I got used to playing with a card like that. That was my first time playing with Lom this year. So now that we know how he plays, I also use Fernand Mendy, a left back. The tactics for my my team that I use, I will post them in a separate video. Um, but the formation we used was a 4 on 2 and 2 narrow. And I'll be honest, man, I think if it wasn't for the, the PS5 gameplay, I would have probably gotten a 27 this weekend. I thought I was playing very well. Uh, we were on a good streak that Saturday night. I finished all my games by Saturday night. And uh, we finished that Saturday at like 45th in the region. But obviously, I got overtaken because of all the 27s that went on. Um, you know, pretty much on that Sunday. So we're going to run another, you know, weekend league session this weekend. Uh, SCN, maybe I bet I get a freeze card in there as well. Uh, I'm going to be using Gold Winaldo. I got him on tradable. And I'm going to be using George Best this weekend as well. So I'm going to let you guys know how SCN is. We'll kind of go through this again next week. Uh, but let's get into the questions now. Now, I need to get around like 14 and a half minutes for this video. So let's go into it. I'll get a couple questions here. Uh, what is one feature currently non-FIFA that you would like to see uh, get added? Could be gameplay or menu based. Uh, one feature that I would love for EA to bring in would definitely be tournaments um for for me tournament mode uh you know kind of world cup uh mode style where it's the three group stage games then you have the knockout rounds and you don't have to throw in like a crazy reward for me i would love a mode where i can use different teams and be able to grind for certain players but in a tournament aspect uh, i think that's really sick so that would definitely be one of the um features that i would add to fifa i think it's it's definitely lacking another mode i think the friendlies mode is really good but it does have its faults as well and the other game modes are also pretty toxic and just super sweaty at the moment so i think if they did incorporate a tournament mode inside of the foot friendly section uh i think you can do so many things with it uh by getting gameplay driven objectives done uh you can do coin rewards you can do untradeable mega packs or whatever packs that you want to do you could do like what they used to do back in FUT 16, where 
uh the amount of times you win a tournament the more stuff you'll get um that would be sick for me as well and there was no skill based matchmaking at all it was pretty much as you go go on um those are the players that you play against and that's what i really liked about fuddy team with the world cup mode so that would definitely be one of the aspects of the game that i would put in right now for me another question um how does using new players impact your performance uh it doesn't really influence me that much i think it takes me a good five to seven games to really feel out a player um i don't like to judge players on one or two game basis um kind of like you know football twitter does with irl football they kind of base things off of one or two game performances for me i want to get a good feel of the card after you know five six seven games and then i'll kind of make a judgment like for for me kaka this past weekend i noticed that he was scoring some decent goals but just the feel of kaka was not good enough it didn't fit my play style so we obviously switched it up we went butcher gueno and we had some pretty good success using him so i would say it doesn't really affect me that much um five to seven games max uh to use the card and usually your first 11 games in champs is your most casual games of the whole weekend so i don't mind testing some new players out in those first you know five to seven games um are you happy with the community you have uh you have built from the last few years uh, i am man i am super happy of like how things have gone this year on twitch obviously i would love to you know kind of keep on growing as a content creator trying to hit 10,000 subs on on youtube uh we are almost at i think 23k on twitch which is kind of crazy building on my other social media platforms and just kind of continue to grow with my community uh giving you guys giving some things back to you guys as well like giveaways and and stuff like that uh we're gonna do things even more like we're gonna have so much more content coming especially with trading with the market there's gonna be so many more videos coming for you guys so you know and also gameplay videos depending on how this one does we're gonna keep on grinding and uh by the end of this year hopefully you know fifa 22 we're able to continue this and go full-time for a second straight year because obviously this is my first year going full-time and so far it's been decent but we need to keep on progressing because we're never satisfied at the growth that we have but i'm super thankful for all you guys that like the videos subscribe to the channel uh watch me on twitch uh you guys are awesome thank you guys so much for all the support uh recently on all my videos uh, we've pretty much gone crazy this year with the youtube how we used to get like two to three hundred views a video now we're getting over 1k and i'm kind of you know i get dissatisfied when i hit under a thousand views on a video that's how far we've come when it comes to content creation so that's really good um and, uh, mateo asks what motivated you to become a content creator for me back in like my last year of high school uh you know i would watch like chris md i'd watch miniminter i'd watch the sidemen i'd watch all of these different youtubers and content creators just having a whole lot of fun and i thought to myself at the end of high school you know let me get some money from my from my job first and then i bought myself an elgato because it just looked like so much fun and it wasn't even the money aspect that kind of enticed me to do content that's something you guys should never if that's one tip i can give you guys it's don't go into this thinking you're going to be making millions of dollars go into it with a uh, open mindset um have fun with it and i think if people see you having fun they're gonna have fun watching you and i feel like that's how we've kind of built up a base over the last few years and yeah you've caught i've caught breaks right uh getting host by castro getting host by nepenthes um stuff like that is obviously going to help you in your career as a content creator but a career should not be like your number one priority it should be a hobby first and you should never put the time in like it's a full-time job unless you fully do go full-time and you have stats to back that up so for me what motivates me as a consecrate was just the amount of fun that people are having just seeing the amount of fun that they had in videos really motivated me to try this out and just see how it went and i'm really enjoying myself like this is really what i want to do uh is create content um i love doing youtube i love doing uh twitch and i hope that it continues um you know for the foreseeable future um i would say another one was what was your first FIFA that i played FIFA 14 was my first FIFA that i played um i actually didn't play it until the end of the year pretty much the summer uh and that was back in the day when you could do trade offers you can transfer coins over pretty easily uh and then fifa 15 came along and that was really the first fifa where i was able to play for pretty much the whole year and you know obviously that was a whole lot of fun uh just kind of buying coins i remember giving my dad a ten dollar bill putting it on the table and being like let me use your paypal so i can 
go buy some coins. It was like three dollars for a mil at their lowest. It was actually insane. Um, fifteen remains to be probably one of my favorite uh, favorite Fifas. Fourteen, obviously, for the nostalgic factor. The World Cup mode I really enjoyed uh, that year as I was just trying to get into football at that time. Um, because as many of you know, I didn't actually watch football uh, pre-2013-14. So I got into the sport there. It helped me learn players' names. And then as I kept watching the sport, I just kept growing in love with the game. And uh, now it's my favorite sport in the world. So we're going to keep doing that. Uh, you know, FIFA obviously is a fun game to play for me. Gameplay, maybe not so much. But the content itself is a lot of fun. So we're just going to keep on doing that. Um, who is the best center back in the world, in your opinion? Uh, the best center back in the world, when healthy, is probably Virgil. Um, now, the fact that he's not healthy, um, you got you have other names. You have Ramos in there. Uh, you've got, you know, you got some young rising stars. Uba Makano looks like he's going to be a very good center back in the future. Uh, and I'm just trying to think of other names on the top of my head. I can't really think at the moment. Um, but those guys are probably, you know, some of the top tier guys for me um you know Kimpembe obviously has been okay so you know with PSG and stuff like that so there's just, just a lot of good center backs out there Bayern have a really good defense uh and yeah I'd say those guys um other questions here what's your opinion on the state of the game that this is a multi this is multiple people have asked me this what's your opinion on the state of the game rivals have become almost unplayable for casuals within the 30 game limit and rivals on a Thursday is the most enjoyable thing I've ever lived through. The champs rewards don't worry in playing 30 and 10 stressful games over a weekend. The only time we have off work, uh, school to relax and chill with your mates, family. Friendlies are far from what the games, uh, the name suggests. The objectives have turned into a sweat fest. What can casuals play? Well, I would say that friendlies for me, and I'm at a really high skill rating, is kind of 50 50 when it comes to you know a super sweaty game or. Uh, just kind of a casual game just kind of playing fifa i do think that ea needs to release more game modes to allow people to just be able to play throughout the week and i think that if they are gonna go th like for me i think rivals should be put on monday uh for awards because then the points can reset and you guys can grind rivals between monday and thursday uh where you don't have to cram all your games in on that actual thursday uh and that would kind of do obviously different things to the market which would probably increase the market on a Monday pretty nicely. But, you know, I would like that instead of kind of the structure we have now because it just seems like people are not buying teams throughout the week. The only things they are doing is friendlies. So that's why you have so many objective cards uh, going up from Sunday squad but awards all the way up to, uh, you know, middle of the week and the link investments that they get as well. So I think the state of the game right now, you know, EA is kind of, their structure is very off. Um, Div rivals, FUT champions, and like I said, I think they need to put a tournament mode in. Uh, they need to put another different mode in. And they, they need to expand on co-op. Co-op for me has not been a success. The mode itself is good. It needs tweaking though, right? I haven't even mentioned FUT Draft. FUT Draft is another game mode that I think, uh, you know, should be improved. So how easy is it to give people a draft token back for winning the draft? It's the most simplest thing in the world, but they don't do it. Because I think it just benefits the, the hardcore players. And they don't need to appease the hardcore uh, players. They need to appease the casuals. And that's why everything in this game is catered towards them. So, okay guys. That's pretty much it. I was able to get through a couple questions. I do apologize if you did send a question. I didn't answer it. But we're going to be doing more of these type of videos. Hopefully this video does well. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I appreciate all the support on the uh, live streams. On the YouTube channel. Hopefully over the course of the year, we can keep on growing as a community. And I hope you guys did enjoy the content. Make sure you guys did do drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll talk to you guys in a video soon. Peace out.